All right, welcome in everybody. Jeff Smecker here from troutstrike.com. We are going to get started here on an olive flash pertagon. So to create a taper, uh, you want to make sure you come all the way back up and then you just keep working your way down the fly. I'm tie that in. I'm going to use a pinch wrap. Get that secured in there. Then I'm going to take a look. That looks a little long to me, so I'm going to adjust it. And then I'm going to wrap all the way back up that Coke de Leon in that slot of the bead, and then I can cut it off. So I want a nice flat thread to do this. Uh, I prefer, when I'm doing pertagons, I prefer a thinner denier uh, thread. But the way that you get your thread flat is you just counter spin uh, your bobbin. And that will unravel the thread. And that way, that thread lays nice and flat. And then you get that nice tapered look. Our next material we're going to tie in, uh, just some crystal flash, some crystal, uh, olive crystal flash. Again, if you don't have olive, if you have another color, I tie these in a bunch of different colors, but uh, I do like the olive, whatever reason, that's the color I have confidence in. Uh, I'm gonna just tie that material in and make sure I don't hit the hook point. And I'm gonna wrap back up. I like to get things out of my way when I can. So I always put my thread in the slot of the bead and I know you've, if you watch my other videos, you probably heard me talk about this before. I think that gets it out of the way. If you hang it over here on the cradle, it also uh, tightens up and keeps that keeps that bead in place. Now, when you're tying in the crystal flash, one of the things you want to make sure is you don't want to pull on it too hard um, because it'll straighten out. It'll get a little discolored. So I make it tight, but not uh, don't put a lot of pressure on it. And I'm going to use my rotary tool. I'm just going to spin it up. And I'm not going to be uh, super picky about it, you know, being touching turns. If I show a little bit of green through, that's fine. I'm not, I'm not too concerned about that. A uh, little bit of that olive thread through there. Tie that in two times behind and one in front. And then I'm going to cut that off. Set my flash aside, flatten my thread. Now with my olive thread, I'm going to just cover up a little bit of that shine. I'm, I'm starting with a base of thread here to do a hot spot collar. So I'm going to tie this off. I'm going to use a whip finish tool and I'm just going to tie that off. And uh, when I cut thread off, especially with pertagons, because you want to keep it as smooth as you can, um, I, I like to put a little bit of pressure on the thread and I like to take my scissors. I lay my scissors against the fly like this and then I push. So coming in from the other side, I like to push and then slowly close. And that way I'm not leaving a big giant tag uh, hanging there. So the next part of this is I'm gonna add in a little bit of color. So I'm using some orange. A lot of people will use 140 denier when they're doing their hot spots. I find that's too thick. I like this thinner stuff. Uh, again, what I like to do is I'm cutting that tag off. I'm gonna give this a pull. I'm gonna pull down uh, on the fly with my scissors and then slowly close the scissors and snip that free. For the next part is the wing case. And I have really gotten away from putting a drop of uh, black uh, nail polish or UV resin. Uh, it takes more time and I find that, especially with the UV resins, it ends up chipping off in my box. If, if these flies sit in there for six months or a year, they end up chipping off anyway. I like to create my wing case with some black Sharpie and I just color my thread and then I can have really good control over it. And I like it to be about half and half. I like it to be about half that orange showing through and then the top half of that wing case. The other thing I like about that, it's a 360 wing case. So if this if this fly is riding upside down, riding right side up, uh, that wing case is, is always there. There's a lot of debate about, should you put it on the bottom or the top? Well, I'll put it on both. That way I'm sure it's there. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm just gonna whip finish, making sure I keep that black in there. I'll tie that off again with that technique where I'm giving this some tension. I'm pushing back with my scissors and then I'm making a nice clean cut. So 
The next thing you want to do is you want to get some UV resin. Uh, you can use a little brush. I always use a bodkin. And uh, you, want to, you want to get this coated. This does two things. Um, one, it creates some really nice shine on the fly. It gives it some reflective qualities. Um, and it also makes this like an indestructible little missile uh, that you can catch fish on it all day. And it, it really, uh, it, it, never, it never really uh, breaks apart. It's a very, very durable fly. So once I get that on there, uh, coated nice and even, we'll give it a zap. really cure it but yeah this is a flash pertagon if you can learn to tie this you can tie there's a million different patterns uh, that you can tie uh, the pertagon style you can make them a flatter finish with just thread uh, you can use any type of mylar there's a billion and one materials in, in a fly shop uh, you can make these in a variety of colors. staple in my fly box uh, this is a great fly to learn how to tie it helps you uh, with the proportions, you know, you, you've got here a 3.2 bead, you've got the tapered body, um, and then you've got your tail um, that is about as long as the, the shank of the hook. And it really, uh, if you're just getting started, these are a great fly to, to master. Uh, the waltz worm is another one that's a great one to master. Just help you getting those proportions down, helping you manage your thread tension, uh, getting that that flat thread when you need it or the corded up thread when you need it um, helping you get your whip finish skills you know it incorporates all the things that you need to do uh, to get started and then um, I know a lot of people feel like these uh, these aren't the most sophisticated flies but um, they are effective they sink fast they get down uh, so hope you enjoyed the video again I'll leave all the materials down in the description so Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying the content. Uh, be sure to give it a like. Uh, hit the subscribe button. And check out TroutStrike.com. See you guys out on the water.